beginner is not the owner but the finisher Ashiva need to pass through the valley of shadow of death before you can be an Ashiva. We call shadow of death recitation. R-E-A-L, recitation. Your inward man need to eat. In the same way your outward man eat. The inward man eat through meditation. He eat through what? Meditation in the word of God. Tell your neighbor, when you live here, you will feed your outward man. I can't hear you. When you live here, you will feed your outward man with food. Don't forget your inward man. You need to eat. He eat through meditation in the word of God. And uh, remember you feed your outward man morning, afternoon, evening. So in the same day, you have to feed your inward man morning, afternoon, evening. That is to feed your inward man morning and afternoon, evening. You have to turn it around, meditate over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over to feed him constantly. That is what I mean by turn it over and over and over in your heart. Some will say, what will I think about? What will I meditate about? There is a word anointed for you to flush out and to make your way sharper. They say, where I'm not here for you, take more of me, O oh Lord. Give me more of you. Take more of me, give me more of you, O oh Lord. That's what you should begin to meditate. Meditate, meditate. Med that is the summary of the whole Bible. I told you that the way builds the nature of Christ. When you say, take more of me, if you take more of you, you are more of yourself. When you are more of yourself, it has to do with unfaithfulness, hatred, pride, greed, food of flesh. That is you. That is you. And God it food of spirit, faith, obedience, humility, kindness, goodness, these are the things you are saying. Take more of me, that is my unfaithfulness. Give me your faithfulness. That is what you are saying. Which is the summary of the whole Bible. Take more of me, that is your disobedience, and give me your obedience. Oh Lord, take more of me. I want you to say it aloud with me. Take more of me. Give me more of you. Oh Lord, take more of me. Give me more of you. Take more of me. Give me more of you. That's all. So these are the way that would be turning over and over and over and over in your heart. What you are thinking about reveals your character. Ask your neighbor, what are you thinking about? Ask your neighbor once again. What you are thinking about reveals your character. If you are thinking right, you are thinking about Jesus, you are thinking about what I'm saying, and if you continue that thought, I turn it over and over and over, then you have a new direction. Look at this situation with Paul and Salah. They begin to confess Jesus before their situation. Begin to confess your God, confess your God before your situation. 
and your situation will turn around. What are you meditating on? That situation, no. Begin to confess God, the ability of God before your situation. Honor your God before your situation. Tell your neighbor, honor your God before your situation. Honor your God before men. Honor your God before your problem. And God will honor you. Right in your heart, the battle starts from your heart. And when you don't start that battle from your heart, and the trouble now come outside, and you begin to fight the battle, you, you cannot win the battle. What is happened to you started from your heart. Before it happened, right from your heart. If you can fight it from your heart, you overcome. But when you allow the situation to come outside, and you are now beginning to run, you want to, what can I do? When there is nothing you can do. Begin to honor your God before your situation. Honor your God before your situation. Honor your God before your problem. And he promised to honor you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Viewers at home, you listen to that? Honor your God before your situation.